I grew up in Micronesia and I was there until my preteens. Then I moved to Hawaii for high school. I ended up in New York because I went to college in upstate New York. My uncles were just messing around in the garage with their punching bags and stuff and one of my uncles actually had some experience. He held mitts for me and ever since the first punch I threw from the mitts, I got hooked. First time I went there for the workout and I started to you know that I, man, I, I think I'm gonna be good at this. I was in the school, but I would get distracted sometimes. But when I joined boxing, it taught me to really push myself. Kids come and go. They're very dedicated, which is hard to come by these days, consistency. That if somehow, you know, fighting is just um, like some hobby or, you know, it's cute. There's nothing cute about it. It's, it's hard. It's difficult. At the end of the day, it's a skill. It's something that you have to work hard at if you want to excel at it and if you want to, you know, be good at, at fighting. My name is Eric Divina Gracia. I'm an uh, attorney at the law firm of Ramp and Mita, which is a local law firm and one of the longest standing firms here in the FSM. I'm the president of the FSM Boxing Association, the head coach, and also one of the board directors. It started back in 2012, I believe. It was ran by a few people. There was only boxing club here in Pontefe, probably the FSM at the time. It wasn't necessarily a boxing gym, it's a youth center, that's what they called it. It was broken down, there were no bathrooms, there were no lockers. The doors were always getting busted down and there's graffiti on the walls. I believe it was in the summer of 2014 that the FSM National Olympic Committee, Secretary General Jim Tobin, agreed that he would allow us to form a national federation with the hopes of starting a boxing team to represent the FSM in the international boxing and hopefully in the World Olympics someday. The difficulty that I've faced was not really, it was not so much race as much as it was gender related. As a female fighter, you, you know, you hear a lot of things like, oh, you're a, you're a fighter, that's adorable. If by adorable you mean badass, then I'll take that because puppies are adorable. I think that gender inequality has become hard-coded into Ponape's culture. Originally, in the matrilineal society, the culture ensured women's safety. It ensured women's voice as far as there is a reverence and a respect then that would naturally then be given and provided to women, and that is, is lost now. The main difficulty was probably just unawareness of boxing as a sport in general. It was kind of unorganized and unexposed to the main community here in Pontefe. So just to get people to come here and here is pretty much by word of mouth. The negative health problems that the FSM is experiencing are really non-communicable diseases, what we know as lifestyle diseases. Yeah, yeah, it helps a lot for me to tell a lot. I used to be drinking on the weekends and I... Hard part of training is not training, it's when I'm not training. When you're outside, when you're with your friends and family, you often get influenced to do like things you're not supposed to do, like drinking, doing tobacco, or drugs. On this island, it's a lot of pressure. Almost everybody is even small kids are drinking to me. Everybody got a lot of friends, everybody know everybody here and just... You want to get into it? You just want to do what everyone does. There's a lot of people in Pompeii chewing betel nut and that. Betel nut, yes. Chewing betel nut is basically like uh, chewing tobacco. Except we get a betel nut, it's a, it's a nut that grows from a tree here. You, uh, you empty out the insides, you put lime. And cigarette leaf, it's called kapoi. It's this white powdery stuff. That's what makes your mouth red. 
You can get jaw cancer from it, it's very addictive. Anywhere you spit, it's going to be stained permanently. The availability of sports programs for our youth, sadly, that's probably the biggest challenge. And I think that um, when you look in Ponte especially, it is a resource problem. There isn't a lot of money floating around to, you know, start up clubs and, and maintain equipment and maintain facilities. You know, a lot of the equipment that we got up to this date has been mainly to donations. We've helped fundraise through donations from family members, from friends, from relatives. One of the local shipping companies, Dongwon Industries, they're the ones that actually donated the boxing ring behind me to the organization, which was pretty significant in itself because it was the first boxing ring ever in, in the FSM. We did first three that it's going to make them inspire, inspire them to age. That was something they should do. Because right now, some people are starting to looking up to us. Some, some of them still have doubts that I, I can win. Some of them say, oh, well, it's okay if you lose. At least you got to see the uh, PNG, or at least you got to go around. But you know, I, I've been training for the past six months not to go around. I, I, I'm training for gold. I hope that I would influence the future generation of this country to influence them to, be, to do greater things. All I'm hearing is people wanting to leave. Like most of my family, they're all just trying to leave, go to the States, because they're all saying, well, there's no life in Pompeii, there's no life in the Sun, but they never thought about doing something for their country, you know? So I hope I'm doing something for my people too.